I'm going to be making veal stew, which I have veal chopped up, defrosted, and um, just about small little pieces. This is a little fat in them. So making veal stew, we need our vegetables. We need one large onion, couple carrots, and fresh thyme. And you need a uh, chicken stock or you can use chicken broth and olive oil, some flour, some cornstarch mixture with it, a small can of tomato paste, black pepper, garlic, and some salt. And this is all our ingredients that we need to make our veal stew. We need a nice, thick Dutch oven that contains heat and we need to preheat our oven. So we mix flour, about three tablespoons, large tablespoons of flour with cornstarch about a tablespoon or so garlic powder black pepper mix our flour and cornstarch in our seasoning just whisk it so it's all nice and mixed taking our pieces um, meat and just flouring them gently here we have our dutch pan or pot deep just put in a tablespoon or so of olive oil to heat up the ones are oil heats up we start putting our pieces of meat sauteing them and both sides till they're nice and brown shaking the excess flour and just don't over stuff it Leave some in so you're able to turn the pieces of meat. We don't want to fix the whole side so we just remove it off. Meat is all nice and brown, crispy on both sides. What you do is throw your vegetable with a spring of thyme or two in there and just saute them till they're nice and softened halfway. And you want the brown leftover of the meat and the crispy. And you don't need to add any more oil, whatever the oil is in the bottom of the pot. Just saute them. Our vegetables are sauteed, so they're roughly chopped. And here we have our tomato paste, a whole pan. And I'm putting the whole box of chicken stock. 32 ounces. We don't add water to our veal stew with chicken stock. We just whisk this. This is going to be our thickening of our sauce. Pouring it over our vegetables. 
bring in our meat as well. Put it in back. We return our meat back in our pot just with our wooden spoon so we don't scratch the bottom of our cast iron dish or Dutch oven and just submerge all your meat on your liquids and let it simmer for at least three hours our dish right now does not need any salt or black pepper we already had incorporated in our flour seasoning and you just leave it in a low temperature on the back burner covering it with our lid for three hours. So we mix all the way to the bottom so it doesn't get stuck to your bottom of your pot. Just let it simmer for another hour or two till it's for tender. Your meat starts to cook and soften up. And if you see that your liquids are getting too thick, just add some more chicken stock or chicken broth. Don't add any water. And just cover it back and let it simmer. Our veal stew is done and it reduced so much liquid and we want it nice and thick and tender meat and you can serve it with potatoes or serve it with white rice however you prefer this is how i make my veal stew hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and we'll remove our sprig of thyme that we had put in there Nice tender meat fall apart.